I'm Edel. I'm an Advanced Research Assistant at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. An Advanced Research Assistant can work in many different fields of science, but I specialise in conservation genetics, where I study populations across a number of different animal species. At the moment I'm working on the Bioscan project, which falls under the Tree of Life programme. Bioscan is a huge collaborative project with locations spread throughout the UK, which aims to study the genetic diversity of one million types of flying insect and by sequencing them, create a detailed database for future DNA-based monitoring. In order to do this, we need to generate high-quality DNA from each specimen. When the insects come into the lab, the first thing we do is check the spreadsheets that our partners have sent us, just to make sure all of the sample information matches up. And we also check the sample plates for damage before we start processing. We're then ready to start our DNA extraction process, which takes two days to complete. The first step in the process is to take the plates with our samples in and remove the ethanol used to preserve the insects. Then we add the lysis buffer, which splits the cells inside the insect so that the DNA is released. Next, we put the samples in ovens to incubate overnight at 56 degrees. The following day, we remove the lysate so that the remaining insect is in one plate and the extracted DNA is in another. This DNA then gets submitted to a separate lab for sequencing. We have robots in the lab to help us, which is great because they take a lot of the repetitive actions out of the process. But the downside of this is that it also can sometimes transfer insects. So you do still need to pay close attention and monitor what they're doing in case an insect gets stuck to a tip of a pipette and gets transferred accidentally. One of our collection sites for Bioscan is actually the campus. So we do have two traps on site and we check them once a week for insects. So that's a nice opportunity to still do a little bit of field work, even though it's just outside our, our back door, really. As a lab technician, you can work on a variety of specimens. I've worked non-invasively on small mammals. Then I changed over to working on squid and octopus, which was really fascinating, before moving on to insects with the Bioscan project. I didn't find science the easiest subject in school, but I definitely found it the most interesting, specifically biology and chemistry. And then to combine that with my love for animals, I studied zoology at university, and that led me then to the field of conservation genetics, where you're using that information to study animal populations and hopefully help conserve species in the future. I would say ultimately my love for the natural world has definitely led to where I am today. For someone who loves science but finds it quite hard at school, I would say to try and find your niche. Science is quite broad at school. You have physics, biology and chemistry, and sometimes the scale of all of that can be a bit overwhelming. But if you try to find the bits within those broad areas that you enjoy, then pursue that area specifically, I think that will lead you exactly where you want to go.